there, fellow travelers. Mark here with Walter's World. Today we're here in the hustle bustle of Atlanta, Georgia. And today we have for you are the don'ts of visiting Atlanta. And we are here in the downtown. And my first don't for you is don't just visit the downtown of Atlanta. Don't get me wrong, there's a lot of cool stuff to do here, whether you got the Georgia Aquarium, where you got the world of Coca-Cola, you've got the Centennial Olympic Park. There's a lot of stuff to see and do in the downtown, but what people don't realize is there's even more to see outside of the downtown area. If you go to a little bit north, you've got Midtown. You can go there. Lots of eating and drinking when you're there. My personal favorite in Midtown is going to the High Museum of Art. It is fantastic to go to. Great European art, American art, African art is a great collection when you're there so definitely do that maybe you want something a little more eclectic head out to little five points which is more east of downtown you go there it's like two or three blocks are kind of like the famous like eclectic part that's there with the shops and stuff like that but for me my favorite bar the vortex it's there and that's one of the places you can get good beer and good whiskey at a good price Sounds dang good to me, right? So you want to get out. And if you want some history when you're out there, you got the Jimmy Carter Presidential Library, that's out there. You want to go a bit farther. Maybe you're a fan of HGTV and you want to go to Buckhead, which is like north, 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 like north, more north than going to Midtown and more north than that. Buckhead is kind of like where the fancier, more expensive shops are and restaurants are and stuff like that. You can go there to try the newest restaurants and stuff like that. There is that, but you want to go and explore more of Atlanta than just the downtown. Maybe you want to go up and go see Stone Mountain. It's only about a 30 minute drive from here in downtown when there's no traffic, but we'll talk about that later. Maybe you want to go to Zoo Atlanta, which is really cool. They have that. You want to go see some plantation houses. You can do all kinds of things that's not just downtown. So don't just get stuck down here and just stay downtown. Because the thing is, downtown has a lot of affordable accommodation, a lot of big hotels, because there's sporting events and, and, and concerts that are here all the time, conferences, and they fill up so they have the capacity to have a lot of people. But the thing is, you want to get out and explore more than just downtown. Now, my next don't for you is don't not see the downtown, because downtown Atlanta has some really cool stuff. The Georgia Aquarium probably the best aquarium in the US. I mean, it's the biggest they say in the Western Hemisphere and it's getting bigger, okay? It's a cool thing. I mean, think about it. You can go through and in their big, huge ocean tank, you actually walk in this tunnel underneath and the whale shark swims over you and stuff like that. And it's so cool. So you can see that. If you don't want to see that, across the way from there, you have the world of Coca-Cola. So you can learn about Coca-Cola, everyone's favorite sugary beverage, right? You have that. They have the, the Center of Civil and Human Rights is right next door. It's really, there's this like tiny park and there's those three things right there. You want a bit more downtown. Yes, you can go to the Centennial Olympic Park or Centennial Park. There's that there you can see. There's CNN Center you can go to and do a tour, which is actually kind of cool. Learning how they do the, the shows and stuff like that. It's actually a really cool experience. There's some stuff down here to see and the restaurants. So that's where it's kind of funny that my first don't is don't just stay downtown, but don't forget to come visit downtown if you are staying outside downtown, okay? And the thing is, whether you're here downtown or you're gonna be going and visiting places like Ponce City Market, or you're gonna go see the MLK Historic Site, or you're gonna farther afield, you might think, well, I should bring my car to your Atlanta. I should rent a car in Atlanta and drive around. My next dome for you is don't drive in Atlanta. I-75, look, it's white knuckle driving. And for those of you that are not initiated into the I-75 club, it will scare the living <clears throat> out of you. You like eight lanes of traffic just on your side? Yeah, you have that. And when at four o'clock comes around, oh my God, when four o'clock on Friday, dude, you're like, I don't want to be here because the driving is really, really stressful. So I do recommend get that Uber app, get that Lyft app. They're all over it. And I'll be honest, we've been using Uber all over town the last few days. The nicest Uber drivers, tons of information. I mean, I've gone places where you get in the car, they don't even say anything. Here, they're like, oh, where are you going? What do you want to do? Where are you from? What do you want to know? And we've gotten great restaurant recommendations. We've gotten great bar recommendations, sites, things like that. You're going to use it, okay? And the thing is, Atlanta is really spread out. Okay, you're gonna need to drive to these places and it's not set up to walk from one place to another place to another place, okay? So you're kind of, you're gonna be in downtown and you'll walk around downtown. And then you'll take a cab out to, you know, little five points and you'll walk around there. And then you'll take a cab from there to Midtown and see that. And then from Midtown, you'll take a, you know, a cab, you'll go to, you'll go to like Mary Max Tea Room and you'll walk up to the Fox Theater. Then you're like, you know what? I need to get another Uber and then head up to Buckhead. You have those things out there, but having a car here will drive you crazy. And the parking is just 
it's really hard to find. So just, just don't, just take my word for it. Use Lyft, okay, you use Uber and things like that. And kind of going along with that is there is public transport here that you can use, but my don't for that is don't think Marta, that's the local like mass transit stuff, is gonna get you everywhere you wanna go. As a tourist, you wanna go into, like I said, the Buckhead, right? You wanna go to Buckhead, you wanna go to Little Five Points, you wanna go to the zoo, you wanna go downtown. Some of these places, the Marta, the, the, the subway kind of trains will get you there, but a lot of them they won't, okay? So don't count on the public transportation. Though they do have buses and things like that that can help you, you're really gonna need use Uber and Lyft when you are here to make your life easier, okay? And a lot of the Uber drivers and Lyft drivers and the locals we talked to have said, look, in the evening time, you do need to take extra special care when you are on the Marta, so just have a heads up for that. Now, I do realize you can't always just fly in and Uber and do stuff like that. Sometimes you do drive in. We've done that a number of times coming here to Atlanta, so it's okay, you do do that. But what I will say is, one of my don'ts for that is, don't leave anything of value in your car where people can see. Look, if it's worth something to you, take it out. Whether you're like, oh, it's just a few coins or a couple bucks here, or it's just a jacket, or, or it's the computer bag is empty anyway, it doesn't matter. Take it out, take it to your hotel and put it there. Do not leave anything in your car, because actually that's probably the biggest crime here in Atlanta that happens to tourists is car break-ins, okay? So make sure you clean those things out. Now, another thing I should tell you along with driving, and then we'll move on to something else, is another thing is don't just say Peachtree, okay? Peachtree Street is the most popular street here in Atlanta, okay? But the thing is, Peachtree Street, Peachtree Road, Peachtree, I don't know, Industrial Boulevard. There's so many Peachtree Streets or derivations of Peachtree whatever that it's good to know which part of Peachtree whatever you're going to so you have a rough idea. Because you say, oh, it's somewhere on Peachtree that doesn't really help at all here, okay? So have a better idea than just Peachtree. Have the street, have the road, have the address. It's gonna make it a lot easier or the cross streets or maybe what part of town it's in that can make a big difference. Now my next stone for you is don't bring a belt when you come to Atlanta. You need to bring suspenders instead because oh my God, you are going to eat so well when you're here. If you want traditional, real Southern cuisine, you can have that here. Go to Mary Max Tea Room. She, oh my gosh, they will feed you until you're about to explode and then feed you more with love, kindness, and some fantastic fried chicken and other things. Yes, you will eat so well. Get the collard greens, okay? But the thing is, you don't just have to have Southern food when you're here. There's so many good restaurants here in Atlanta. So many people have come in. So many international people have come in. You'll be surprised if you actually meet somebody that's actually from Atlanta when you're here because there's people from all over the U.S. and all over the world that have come here and they brought their flavors and their spices and their taste and so you have really great food. I mean, dude, we had legit amazing German food when we've been here. I'm like, why am I eating German food in Atlanta? Uh, because it's awesome? Yes, so you will eat really well when you're here. And yes, you can go to the old standbys, go to the varsity, have a chili dog there with some fries like everyone else does and do that. You can do those things. Go to some of the smaller bars and restaurants and have that. See what the newest place is to check out. Go on the beltway where you can see the murals and the walkway where, they, where they've taken an old railroad track and it's now like a park going around the city. There's restaurants that are right off of there you can go to. Man, you will just eat and eat and eat and just be like, Bleh. No belt, just suspenders, please. Now, another place you can eat when you are here is you'll see Waffle Houses everywhere. Even here by the Olympic Rings, you will see Waffle House. It's actually from here in Atlanta. So if you're looking for a cheap place to eat, that's the place you're gonna go when you're in Atlanta, okay? But you don't have to go to Waffle House. There's tons of great restaurants here, okay? You'll eat well. And remember, suspenders, not belt. But you know what? If it's late night or early morning, you need to grab something, Waffle House will take care of you here in Atlanta. Now my next one for you is specifically suggested by Caleb, my oldest son, and that is if you have allergies and you come here in the spring, do not forget to bring your allergy medicine because the pollen here is horrible. Oh my God, we were here with Caleb in the spring and I felt so bad for the kid. I'm like, I thought he was gonna die because it was just so much pollen that it's just people with allergies, they're miserable, okay? So springtime, have your allergy stuff, okay? Now, if you're here in the winter time, we're here in the winter time filming, it can be really nice, I'm not gonna lie to you. But the thing is, if you're here and they have warnings about ice and snow, 
don't mess around with it, okay? It's not that the Southerners don't know how to drive on ice and snow and things like that. It's that the city is not prepared for that. They don't have the salt things that throw out the salt to melt the ice or the cinders. They don't have the snow plows and things like that. So a little bit of snow or a little bit of ice will shut down the city and it really becomes a safety issue. So if you see that's happening, don't go to Atlanta at that time, go around. We were down in Savannah in 2014 when Snowpocalypse came, and we, instead of driving through Atlanta to come back, we actually went down the southern part of Georgia, went into Alabama, and came up that way because Atlanta was completely shut down for days, okay? So don't mess around with the cold weather or the winter weather if it does come here. It doesn't usually come here, but if it does, do be careful. Now, my next one for you has been requested from a few of my friends that are here in Atlanta, and they do ask, please, tourists, don't call it Hot Lanta, okay? It's Atlanta. You could have called it Hot Lanta like 30 years ago, and that might have been okay, but they don't really like that anymore, so just a heads up for that one. And of course, another don't I have for you is don't ever try to buy a Pepsi or order a Pepsi when you're here in Atlanta. This is Coca-Cola's headquarters. It's from here. They have a statue to the guy that invented Coca-Cola. You can go to the world of Coca-Cola and do that and see those things. And it's fantastic. So definitely go there and see that, but don't do that. And my last don't for you is don't forget how great the locals are. We've had the greatest time meeting local Uber drivers, meeting local you know security people, meeting local bartenders. They're going to help you know what to eat, where to go, what to see, what to do, and you're going to love it. So I hope this helps you know a little bit more about Atlanta. If you want to learn more, we actually have a video on the don'ts of the south that can help you know much more. And I'll say bye from here in beautiful Atlanta. Bye.